Uh, Nicole Parker, I'm the Youth and Family Director here at the Osarpy YMCA. At the beginning of the year, I know we had spoke about um, KPOS coming out here and showing the kids um, gardening techniques, just kind of getting them um, in touch with the earth. And um, we did that this summer and the kids, um, I was kind of hesitant at first because some of our kids not knowing if they would like it or not. Um, that first day, automatic, they came out here they dug in the dirt, they were um, listening, all ears were and eyes were focused on the instructors. They loved it, they loved watching the plants grow, cleaning it out, um, especially like our older kids, uh, I would say between the ages of eight and 12. Um, they had uh, an awesome time. They talked about it, parents asked us about it. Um, we were also able to talk about the um, additional spots that are um, down the street um, and I think that was just really cool to have that part um, here at the YMCA. So, what kind of stuff did were they learning? Um, so they they learned about what's the difference between weeds and what is a plant, um, how to pick those weeds out, um, how to clean a bed. Um, they learned about watering and um, I hope it's the right word nurturing the plant, um, but. Uh, basically the care of it. They learned at the beginning, um, it takes a while. So just kind of learning the, the growth process of a plant and then um, later on being able to watch it grow. Cool. This is something that we should do next year? Absolutely. <laughs> Good. Yes. These are the uh, garden beds here um, that we grew during the summer. Um, there's some beans that are still on these plants. Yeah. Ready to be harvested, but uh, in these beds right now is a fall cover crop um, that's just starting to germinate from the rain, um, which will give us a really great look and cover up a lot of this mulch for the winter. So, all right. All right. Thank you so much well, for your time. Anything else yes. you want to say? Um, I am just excited. I'm happy for the opportunity. Um, I'm glad you walked through our doors uh, that day and asked us to be a part of this. I think it's great and it's a good learning experience for our um, youth here and um, for the o uh, overall community, um, getting in touch with the earth and what nature does. So yeah, absolutely. I love it. Thank you very awesome. much. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, Becky, can you kind of tell me what you're doing yes. over here? Um, we have about 2,500 square feet in front of the Heartland Family Service um, Sarpy office that we have landscaped with perennial edibles um, here in Nebraska. There's not a lot that I'm gonna zoom around you. perennial edible, but we've done the best we can. So we've got lots of berries, vegetables, um, fruit trees, nut trees, um, and some other stuff growing. And uh, we work once a week and harvest it and give it to the Tri-City Food Pantry. What are these right here? The strawberries? Strawberries, yep. We've got an herb garden that produces quite a bit. And then rhubarb, asparagus, and in the corner growing tall um, is a cherry tree and Jerusalem artichokes. Heartland has just been overwhelmingly positive about what we've done here. This was all grass and we asked if we had a vision and asked if we could come do their landscaping for them. Um, they've let us expand and use their water for our expansion even when it's not on their property. So that's been great. The food pantry, oh they are so awesome in how they support us. Um, their volunteers are always trying to push our food on the clients and make sure they know how to use it. They'll give them the different things in the pantry like soups and rice that go along with uh, what we're providing. Um, so that's been really cool to see as well. And we'd like to start community dinners up here where we can start building relationships one-on-one -on -one and um, just love on people. Awesome. Great. Do you need people to show up? Yeah, we always need volunteers. Um, we have a fun time. Our Thursday night group uh, is pretty laid back. We don't work real hard. <laughs> we do, uh, we actually do a lot of discipling here in the harvest and um, we just have a good time. We uh, Google a lot of what we're doing, so we're not really knowledgeable in gardening, but we uh, want to be. And so uh, we learn from each other and take a lot of advice from that and uh, do a lot of testing and experimenting on other stuff to see what grows best and what works best.
Zuha Family Gardens on 1st Street. Hello guys. This is gonna look sweet. Just this half. My name is Tristan Adelman. I uh, work with Jonathan with KPOS. Uh, basically I just come through here and I do a lot of the groundskeeping. I make sure like yeah, it's hard to tell now because a lot it's later in the season, but I make sure some of the plants stay up to par and everything looks good. I've had a load of fun here. Like I'm working with a lot of the volunteers. Yeah. Uh, a group of kids come out and they have a lot of fun. They get to pick some stuff. And I think one of my favorite parts is telling them you know, when they can take a tomato or two to take home, and their faces just light up. It's just amazing. Mm. It's so great. How many people do you think you've interacted with this year working oh, with us? Gosh. Um, I'd say close to like over a hundred. I've met so many different people and that's just one of the things I love about this because I love people and just interacting with so many people. Cool. Why do you think we're doing all this? Well with this garden we uh, harvest all the food and we take it up to the food pantry so that uh, some homeless people or families that are struggling in hard times, you know, they have something to eat, they have good meals, stuff like that. Why do you think this is important? I think it's important because we can impact the community and just help out the people, you know, kind of be the older brother for a lot of people spread the love of Christ and Jesus and all of that. Really impact people's lives and help them in any way that we can. Having little information about KPOS, to me the program has exploded here at the detention center for staff and for the juveniles that we have detained here and those that are in our community programs as well. Some of the kids that come to us have absolutely no um, gardening experience, don't know how to make meals and grow vegetables, and your program has helped so much for them to see a different aspect of the uh, gardening and um, the meal preparation too. Um, in a detention center, we try and have some family type um, activities or make it more like a family, but even with our juveniles that are in the community, they can take that back to their home too, their home life, and have more of a family style meal with their what they've learned from KPOS. It's from the ground to, you know, on up. That's how I see it here, that it's huh. just such a different... <laughs> That's a great perspective, yeah. <laughs> this garden was little attention, you know, we just built this in a day and planted it, and we exactly. pulled weeds once, and. Now we got pumpkins and squash and even look at all that okra. That's but to great. to see this garden yeah. with just little care even from last year and the previous years, yeah. to see the growth that we have this year is mm -hmm. just, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. um, and the kids really enjoyed being out here when you were tilling the land. Actually, I didn't do this. They did it all. But you brought in... I brought in the machine, the machine. and they, they watched me do it over at the first street site. Uh -huh. And then I gave them the opportunity to do this themselves here. <laughs> I just think they have learned so much more than just the hands-on gardening. Mm -hmm. It is about um, how you can give back to your community, what you can do for your families. It's, it's so much more than just... Oh, let's plant something and, and watch it grow. Um, to, to me, they have grown themselves. So mm -hmm. internally, they have grown by the um, attention we have received from, from KPOS. These kids have been through a lot, and they yeah. have these barriers around them. So to be able to chisel that barrier even just a little bit, um, it, it's difficult, but yep. you've, you've done it. You and your staff have, mm. have definitely done it. Uh, it's just relationship and time. That's all it is. Right. Showing up and being available and, and being... listening. Yeah. So... Giving attention. Just being with them. Oh, yeah. At the beginning, no trust whatsoever. Right. You know? And yeah, there was that definite... Uh, um, that first, the first week, that was fun. Yeah, fun <laughs> yes, and they they were fighting it. Yeah, they were completely fighting it until they knew. I think until they realized what they could gain from it. Hmm.
then it was so different. <laughs> well, thank you for allowing us to be here in this. I mean, let me record you right now. That's awesome. <laughs> That's just for you. Yeah, great. <laughs>